Hello students, today is our fifth lecture of index number. Now, what we are doing today? Special sums, different types of sum, twisted sums of last year, Pase and Fisher. So, for that, I have selected one best sum. Uh, illustration number 13 that we are doing today. Now, again I am repeating first of all our formula. So, first, the Ashton formula, Ashton formula and Fisher's formula. Last pair, Pache and Fish. Going ahead. Sigma BQ upon Sigma BQ into 100. Sigma BQ upon Sigma BQ into 100. Sir, under root. Last pair into Pache. That also we know. And we know one thing, 1,011, that's it. So these are three formulas for last pair, Pasha and Fisher. But today's lecture, from today's lecture, we are not calculating this thing. Because this calculation you know. So going ahead, illustration number 13. Now what is given in illustration number 30? So ready? Compute last pair Pache and Fisher's index number for the year 2016 from the data given below by taking 2015 as a base year. So 2016 and 2015, 16 latest, 15 past. For 16 we are writing, writing 1, for 15 we are writing 0. So whatever information given, first I am writing it. So first is given item A, B, C, D, E, F items are given. So writing here item A, B, C, D, E and F. These items are given. Against it unit also given. Now units are there. So writing units. Now in first item A, 20 kilogram unit. Twenty kg given. B quintal given. Quintal. C again kilogram given. For D item meter given for e liter and dozen so these are units given for particular item. Now here 20 kg given for other nothing is given. It means it's a 1 kg, 1 quintal, 1 kg, 1 meter, 1 liter, 1 dozen. So this information is about that particular 1 unit. But this is for 20 units, 20 kg. Going ahead, what is the other information? Now here given price and quantity. So in heading price given quantity given. So writing heading price quantity. 
Now in that also, two parts. Now which are two parts? So price, 2015 and 16. Quantity also, 2015 and 16. Now most important thing which I am explaining you that is price means we are writing P quantity means we are writing Q two years are given for 16 we are writing 1 and for 15 we are writing 0 so here I can write price of 2015 P0 price 2016 P1 quantity 2015 Q0 quantity 2016 Q1 so here I can write in this way and this is very important one first write it then solve sir Otherwise, you may arise many problems in future. So, going ahead, first of all, writing price. So, which are the prices given? Just writing it. 300, 440 for item A. 300, 440. Increase 140. 570. Or kg 60 70 14.25 15 32 36 This is given to you in your textbook. Don't worry. What does that? 30 and 36. So these are prices of different items given in 2015 and 2016. Compared to 2015, obviously your prices increase. Now talking about quantity. So for quantity, 5 kg. 8 kg. So 5 kg, 8 kg. 10 kg, 15 kg. kg 15 kg twelve hundred gram two thousand grams so twelve hundred gram two thousand gram Given. 15 meter 25 meter eighteen liter thirty liter. Eight piece, ten piece. So 
so prices are given quantity is given now if you are not thinking more then you can directly find here pq 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 Eleven zero one. Simple. So one thousand and P one P Q zero. So P one Q zero multiplication of these two. Your answer, but no. First check two things that I had explained you in last lecture. Which are two things? See here. Item A, twenty kg price is three hundred. Item A, twenty kg price is four forty. This is the information available to you. This price is for twenty kg. What I need? I need one kg price, not twenty kg price. Here price is given for twenty kg. Twenty kg price. Twenty kg price. What I need one kg price. So convert this twenty kg price into one kg price. So what I have to do? Three hundred divided by twenty. I get fifteen rupees answer. So fifteen rupees is fifteen rupees is. One kg price. Same way, this is also twenty kg price. Divide by twenty. Twenty two. So again, twenty two rupees is per kg price. So now. I can clear this thing. Now I have one kg prices. Here one quintal price, one kg price, one meter price, one liter price, one dozen price. Now this all the prices are for one unit. So first of all, check it. Is it for one unit? Yes. Now it become for one unit. Now going ahead. What is the second step? Check it. Here kg is given. So quantity also should be in kg. Yes, sir. kg. Kg. Kg, no problem. Here, sir, quintal. Here, kg information is given. Not okay. Now you have two choice. You have two choices. Convert this kg into quintal. Or here, quintal converted into kg. You have two choices. Any one you can accept. In textbook, this quintal is converted into kg. Because this are two kg information. If we are converting this into kg, so it becomes somewhat easy. But that is your choice. What you want to do, that is depend on you. So, suppose I am converting this quintal into kg because this is already kg information. So write here kg. So one quintal means what? One quintal means hundred kg. So convert this quintal. Convert this quintal into kg. Sir, 
battery becomes 100 kg because 1 quintal means 100 kg so instead of quintal I am writing here 100 kg so now unit kg quantity also in kg so it becomes ok but again one question arises again one question arises which is that here 1 kg price is given 1 kg price is given we have find now this becomes 100 kg price this is also 100 kg price so it is not ok I need here 1 kg price because it was this price was for what? 1 quintal. 1 quintal means 100 kg. So 100 kg price is here. Suppose I am writing here kg, then this price also for 1 kg. That is the rule that you have to follow. So now question arises, sir, this is in kg. This is also kg, but price is for 100 kg. So we cannot write it. So what we have to do? Convert this price into 1 kg. So 100 kg price given. So divide by 100. And I am getting 1 kg price and high 100 divided by 100. 1 kg. 100 kg 500. 1 kg 500. 100 kg 700. 1 kg 7 rupees. So in this way, 1 kg price I have fine. So now no need to write 100. So this is very important one that you have to do. Because you, you are not changing this, you are changing unit. 100 kg, so change price. Simple. So it's clear. Going ahead. Kg, 1 kg prices are there. No, no issue. But kg, gram, gram. Now again you have two options. Convert this kg into gram or convert this gram into kg. So here we can see this gram can be converted easily into kg. Because 1 kg means 1000 gram. So this grams are divided by 1000. So this gram is converted into kg. How many kg? So sir, 1.2 kg. And here it becomes 2 kg. So this quantity is converted into kg now. It was in gram. But now it is in kg. 1.2 kg means 1200 gram. 2 kg means 2000 gram. That's okay. Now it's okay. Kg, 1.2 kg, 2 kg, 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 kg. Now 1 kg price. Then okay. Going ahead. 1 meter price. Okay. Now see. Meter, meter, meter. No problem at all. Again, okay, 1 liter price is given. Liter, 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 no problem at all. Dozen price given, 1 dozen, okay. Here, dozen piece, piece, oh, sir, sir, sir. Problem price. Now, again, you have a two option. Convert this dozen into piece or convert this piece into dozen. Now here conversion of piece into dozen becomes somewhat difficult because for converting piece into dozen we have to divide with 12. 8 divided by 12 0 point something, 12, 10 divided by 12 0 point something. So easy to convert dozen. Now I am converting dozen. One dozen means how many pieces? Uh, simple 12 pieces. 1 dozen means 12 pieces. So I have converted dozen into piece. Now piece, piece, piece becomes equal. But sir, here 12 piece. I need 1 piece price. Here 12 piece price are there. It was for 1 dozen. Then 1 dozen price, okay. But 
here price for piece given so i have converted this dozen into pieces so it becomes 12 piece 12 piece prices are here so what should i do 12 piece 30 rupees one piece how many rupees finding so divide by 12 divide by 12 So if we are dividing 30 divided by 12, then we will get answer. Your answer 22 into 5. 7 into 10, 70. 75 into 1.2, you will get 90. 15 into 15 means 15 square to 25. 36 into 18, 648. 3 into 8, 24. And total of this all 110, 70, 92, 25, 648, 24. Total is 1167. It's my sigma PQ, but P1, Q0. Simple. Same way. P0, Q0. Sir, P0, Q0. Multiplication of this 15 into 5. We are multiplying 15 into 5.
Seventy-five, fifty, seventy-two, two, one, three point seventy-five, five seventy-six, twenty, one zero zero six point seven five. What it is? Simple. So calculating P one about P one into Q one. So P one, Q one. Multiplication of this two, twenty-two into eight. So twenty-two into eight, I am getting one seventy-six. Seven into fifteen, one zero five. Seventy-five into two, seventy-five into two. One fifteen, fifteen into twenty. I am getting three seventy. Thirty six into thirty. So thirty six into thirty, ten eighty. And last one, three into. Ten. Getting answer thirty. Now make total of this. So total is one nine one six. Sigma. P Q. P one Q. Going ahead. P zero Q. Now P zero. P zero. And Q one. So multiplication of these two that we need to do. Fifteen into eight. One twenty. Five into fifteen. Seventy five. Sixty into two. One twenty. Fourteen point twenty-five into twenty-five, so I will get three fifty-six point twenty-five. Thirty-two into thirty. Thirty-two into thirty, nine sixty. Thirty into ten, so it says three hundred. Thirty into P zero two point five. Sorry, P zero is two point five. Two point five into ten, getting twenty five. So two point five into ten, twenty five. Make total of this one twenty seventy five one twenty three fifty six point twenty five nine sixty twenty five and total is sixteen fifty six point twenty five. So now we have these four values. These four values we can replace in the formula, finding the answer. That's it. But really, from next lecture, really, I am not explaining this also. I am explaining only and only these things. Bye bye. Meet you in next lecture.